Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna jump into an interesting point. We're getting close to Easter and at church on Sundays, we're really close to actually the crucifixion of Jesus. It's funny how God kind of just sets up the timing. Um, so one quick announcement though, I do wanna let you guys know and remember that we're doing this new, um, basically trying to make t-shirts through a company. So if you have a logo or an image or something that you wanna draw out and we vote on to see which one we pick, to then sell f for the youth group, go ahead, you know, let draw them up, give them to me, and I'll put them together and we'll all vote on them. So just remember that. But today, we want to look at John chapter 18, verse 38 through 40. Here it says, What is truth? said Pilate. After he had said this, he went out to the Jews again and told them, I find no grounds for charging him. You have a custom that I release one prisoner to you at the Passover. So, do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? They shouted back, not this man, but Barabbas. Now, Barabbas was a revolutionary. So, something for background so we understand what's going on. Right now, the Jews have just dropped Jesus off in Pilate's lap. They're dealing with this whole issue and basically... Through Pilate's questioning, right, this Roman governor, um, basically he can't find a fault. He has no reason to charge Jesus. We even find in the other Gospels later on that he's like, there's no fault for me to give to him. You know, I'll, I'll have him lashed, you know, lashed or hit with a whip a couple of times and then let him go. He has no fault. Like, there's nothing I can charge him with. But it doesn't matter. The Jews just wanted him dead. In the other Gospels as well, I believe it's in Matthew and Mark, we see that it even reveals that Pilate knows that the high priests and the Sanhedrin drop off Jesus because it's out of envy and jealousy. There's no real reason for them to actually want Jesus dead. And we went through on Sunday all these reasonings why the Jews were just going around and dodging actual like justice processes or processes for them to use to have Jesus you know tried have evidence and then convicted of a crime they don't have evidence they're just trying to go around it and have him killed as quickly as possible it's very sad now what's interesting here is after after he you know Pilate finds no fault in him and he tries releasing Jesus to the Jews, he's like, look, there's no problem. He has this idea, and by looking at the other Gospels, we see he actually goes and picks Barabbas, brings them forward, and says, okay, you know, pick. Do you want the king of the Jews? And they pick Barabbas. Now, what's important here is Barabbas is a revolutionary, as it says, and in the other Gospels it talks about how he's a murderer. History shows that he's a thief. This guy is the worst of the worst criminals. Even the Jews should have hated this man. Yet they pick him. Like, Pilate's idea is, let me get the worst scum possible. So they'll obviously pick Jesus, who is innocent. But their calloused hearts made them pick Barabbas. They chose the worst evil scum of the earth over their savior, who they've been reading about in the Old Testament. Now, something that I really want to touch on here that's really good, right? Think about this. Barabbas is a thief, a murderer, a revolutionary or an ins insurrectionist. This guy is evil. That guy is you and me. Because if we think about it, this is the perfect image of what Jesus did. Jesus came to die on the cross for you and for me, taking our sins, burying it, right? Becoming sin for us, dying and three days later, rising from the grave, defeating sin and death. Well, Barabbas was supposed to be crucified. He was supposed to die for his crimes. Guess what? He was set free and Jesus died in his place. Before we were saved, we were the scum of the earth. We were the, the most horrible, horrific sinners ever. But guess what? Jesus died for you and for me. And in that, he has made us holy. He has made us perfect. 
here is making us perfect. He is the one who clothes us with his righteousness. Because with our own righteousness, as the Bible says, it's like dirty rags. We got nothing. We're Barabbas. But with Jesus and what he did, man, we're made holy by him. And that's a really important thing to remember. That this horrible, evil person, we were that way too. So we should be thankful to Jesus, especially coming up on Easter in two Sundays, I believe it is, to keep this in mind. Like, God, G Jesus, you died for me. You took on all my sins, past, present, and future, and bore them on the cross in excruciating pain and, and taking on my sin. Thank you, Lord. So guys, as we enter into Easter, keep that in your mind and share it. Share with your friends that don't know Jesus. Tell them to turn to Jesus, right? Repent from sin and believe. Show them how much of a Barabbas they are. And show them what Jesus did for him. So guys, in that, I hope you stay safe. I can't wait to see you on Wednesday and Friday. Um, besides that, come up with some cool shirt designs. So stay safe. God bless and share the gospel.